about installing the OpenTelemetry you demo using Helm. Um, and I should have one more thing loaded up here. I'm so sorry, which is a web page. Here we go. Let's get over here. Uh, we're going to go to the demo web page itself. Um, and actually, where I wanted to go was the, as well as that, was the Helm chart. And um, for the, the chart, to install the chart, we try to keep things fairly simple. You're going to add the repo. I've already done this step. And then you're going to install the chart. So we're going to go ahead and copy that step there. Um, I'm just going to go to a command prompt here and install that. My namespace, just so we're clear, um, I am currently configured to have a namespace of uh, uh, cube pedal get pods. So there's nothing in the hotel demo namespace. So um, what we're going to do is we're just going to install this. We're going to call it my hotel demo, and we'll go ahead and install all the things. And this will spit up the demo, and it'll work inside of wherever it does. It doesn't do much. It's not very useful. Um, uh, close these off so we don't distract you from anything, but it does work. Uh, we recommend you run this command next to uh, port forward the demo. I'm just going to copy that and run this right here. Um, and what that does is it port forwards um, the demo, so it runs into localhost right here, and any of these URLs will work to access to the specific demo feature. Of note, the trailing slash on these URLs is important. Um, I, I believe particularly for load gen and feature flag, if you don't include the trailing slash, the UI just doesn't render properly. So make sure you include the trailing slash on all of these URLs. Um, I'm just gonna check to see the status of this. Um, checkout service, accounting service are still airing out. Things take time to start up. These two are airing out in particular because Kafka probably just finished passing all of its tests on startup and Kafka takes a couple more extra minutes there to start up and, and those two depend on it. So accounting services coming back on uh, checkout services next restart, I'm sure it'll be just fine. And um, there you go. So everything looks like it's probably running. Um, so we're going to go ahead. I, I'm port forwarded on my service. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit this link right here. And there it is. This is the demo UI. It works. Um, you go ahead and go shopping and go do stuff and go look at it and it works. The demo also includes uh, some basic things. Um, I, I've got bookmarks for all those URLs that you're seeing before. I could go ahead and click on them over here again, but uh, I just wanna go off and show off some, some of the cool new features is these are the feature flags. These are what you can use to enable certain error scenarios. Um, and one quick way to figure out is the demo working? Is the low gen working? Is traffic being generated? is you could check out the embedded Yanger. Um, you could hit this. If you've got services showing up, you're in, it works. Uh, one good way to think of the end-to-end -end flow, the thing that hits the most different services is to look at the checkout service. So in this drop down, you'll grab checkout. Uh, you look at here, we'll look at this a little bit more in Honeycomb as well, but you hit find traces and you want anything here that's got at least 35 or so spans on it for place order and you will have something that it goes end to end and that touches just about every single service there is out there within the demo itself. All right, let's go take this down. Um, and we are gonna, you see here to handle my inquiry request, we're gonna kill that cube cuddle port forward. I'm actually gonna take this down completely. Delete, oops. And this is the last time we're gonna call it uh, my hotel demo. From here on out, we're just gonna call it hotel demo because things work easier that way. Next step I wanna talk about is getting the data into Honeycomb. Um, the easiest way to do this is through the Open Telemetry Collector. And we do um, include the instructions on our GitHub ourselves for this. So I'm gonna to go to the Honeycomb's GitHub for the community demo. Um, and then here under source, if you go to the Hotel Collector, it's kind of buried and you got nowhere to look, but this is basically what you want to do. You want to add this configuration right here to make it happen, <clears throat> replacing the key with your Honeycomb API key. 
And when you do this, you will get the um, experience that you're gaining for. So I'm just going to copy this right here, actually. And I'm going to come back over to, um, I'm just going to create a new file right here. And we are going to call it uh, sample hotel demo values.yaml. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to come up here. I'm going to type in open. So first off, you have to understand how the YAML works and which properties are in the YAML. And we have them documented on the Helm chart itself. So they're all documented right here. Um, these are enabled by default, but the one I want to configure in particular is the open telemetry collector. So um, they have a prefix of open telemetry dash collector dot, and then we're going to modify the config is what we're going to do. And then we're going to paste that code block I just copied. We're going to paste it underneath config right there in particular. So I'm going to open telemetry collector and kind of, I use GitHub Copilot. It likes to fill things out for me sometimes, but that's not actually what I want to do. I put a config block here. Um, it's really helpful, but it's not quite what I want to do. What I want to do is just paste that thing I had and that's it right there. So I just took the, the config we had before and I just pasted it in. We do keep the default um, um, attributes here for, or I should say, we we do keep the, the, the default settings here for the exporters and stuff. Um, it's fine, it all just works. And right here, you wanna just plug in your API key yourself. Um, I'm gonna go get an API key. So we're gonna go to our, Honeycomb environment. I'm going to push these into an environment called Hotel Demo. Um, you can see here it was sending data that just stopped. We actually stopped it there a few minutes ago. So I'm just going to come right here and uh, I'm going to get the API key for this thing right here. And then we'll go home for the Hotel Demo and we're going to go to front end, get ourselves ready because we're going to start sending data to this thing. And these are going to show up back up again. So back to over here, I'm gonna plug in that API key right there. Um, the rest of the things you just wanna leave alone, let it go. I'm gonna save that file. And then I'm just gonna come here and say, Helm, install, hotel demo, open telemetry, demo chart values. And that file is located right here. We call it sample uh, dash hotel values, just like that. So go ahead and we'll install that. And it went off and installed it right there. Um, give it a few minutes, everything here will start up just again like it did before. Um, I could again run the cube cuddle forward, port forward thing right here to forward all, over all the stuff. Um, if you use K9s, there's also another way to do it. Now, in particular, you want to do it on, if you can do it at the pod level, you want to do it in front of pod proxy. Uh, you can do it at the service level, which is where we do recommend you do it. And you want to do it again on front end proxy, not on front end. This is a mistake that a lot of people do when they're setting up the demo is they try to cube cuddle forward the front end. The instructions tell you to do the front end proxy, but people might just miss that small little detail right there. So always make sure you grab front end proxy when, you, when you're doing this and doing the forward. So um, in K9s, it's shift F and you can take all the defaults there and that got forwarded over to you. Um, if you go look at the pods now, you'll actually see that this thing here has a forward rule applied to it. Um, and if I now come over and I just come back to this URL, this URL actually work and I could actually continue to do things and go shopping and use a shop and, um, all these UIs will continue to function because I, I was already there. More importantly though, Honeycomb will show, look at that, here's my data coming right in. So these right here are the actual, this will be a trace that just happened from the load generator since it came on. It's generating there, probably makes sense, probably because the thing is still starting up and not all the services were up and running. So we gotta give this a couple of seconds, make sure everything is all up and running. It is all up and running now. Um, and I would assume that any new traces will go to a 10 minute view here. We'll get something a little bit more clean. Uh, I like to group this by name, on the front end. And we're looking for a name that's place order. Um, actually, we're not, oops, not. 
um, target dot target. Sorry, and we're looking for the place order target um, or checkout. I'm sorry. I don't actually, oh, there it is right here. So this is what I like to filter on. And then from there, go ahead and go grab one of these. And you should have a really good, not trace looking like what I just got there. I'm gonna group this by traces. But one thing the Open Telemetry demo does is it splits things by um, low generator versus non low generator traffic. This is one of the ones I want here, 44 spans. Um, and this will have everything we wanted there. 